Quotes from, J. C. Philpott. From the Kindle, Deep Christian Quotes and Bible Verses. First Quote Where the true light shines into the soul there is a discovery of the greatness and majesty of God, of His holiness, purity, power, and glory. And with this there is a corresponding discovery of our own nothingness, insignificance, sinfulness, and utter worthlessness. This divine light being accompanied by spiritual life, there is raised up a tender conscience as well as an enlightened understanding. Thus is produced self-abasement, which every fresh discovery of the holiness of God and of our own vileness deepens and strengthens. This lays the foundation for true humility, and when God's mercy meets man's misery, and Christ is revealed to the soul, it cannot too much abase itself before His blessed majesty. Nor lie low enough in the dust of self-loathing and self-abhorrence. Humility is the daughter of grace, as pride is the child of ignorance. Second quote. Spiritual pride, another marked feature in this impostors, is her self-deceptiveness. She may not succeed in deceiving others, but she rarely fails in deceiving herself. Thus she usually hides her real character most from those who are under her special influence. They are patterns of humility externally to others, and patterns of humility internally to themselves. Third quote. Other sins are not so self-deceptive, as spiritual pride, so self-blinding, so self-bewitching. Sensual thoughts, blasphemous or rebellious imaginations, anger, carnality, prayerlessness, deadness, coldness, unbelief, these and similar sins wound conscience, and are therefore, at once, detected as essentially evil. Fourth quote. The swellings of spiritual pride, though not hidden from a discerning eye and a tender conscience, are much concealed from those very religious people whose amazing humility and undeviating obedience are ever sending forth, a sweet savor, to delight their approving nostrils. Fifth quote. Other sins feed only on a limited and appropriate diet. Covetousness is confined to the love of money, sensuality, drunkenness, gluttony, to their peculiar gratifications. But pride is omnivorous. To her greedy appetite, no food comes amiss. Like the eagle, she can strike down living prey, or, like the vulture, banquet on putrid carrion. Thanks.